Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can upgrade your SSD without losing your data. In that way, you have to clone your SSD in order to protect your data. So which software that you need to use, I'm going to be talking about all of that in this video. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, so let's just say that you have a SSD on which you have your Windows installed and you want to clone that SSD to the new one, which will be your primary SSD with your Windows on your computer and you want to get rid of that SSD. To demonstrate this process easier, I have a Samsung T7 SSD that I've been using for quite a long time and I have some data on it, though it does not have an operating system on it, but I still have a few data on this SSD that I will be demonstrating you guys how to use this tool. So let's just get started with that. All right, firstly, head over to your browser and then over here, you have to look for Ease Us Disk Copy. Once you're over here, go over to Ease Us Disk Copy and then you can simply download it for free from here. Once you have opened this application, the best part about this application is that it is a independent application that you do not have to install on your PC. It is a portable application that you can carry it around on your pen drive. It is very much handy. And uh, as soon as you attach your SSD onto your PC, it detects it. You can simply click on update. And now within a while, you guys can see a disk file that will be appearing right away. This is my Samsung T7 SSD with 931 GB size over here. What you have to do, you have four options over here. First is disk mode, second is system mode, third is partition mode, and fourth is create a bootable disk. You also have a batch mode over here, which covers a few settings like copy from an existing image. We're not gonna be diving into this one. Let's start with the first one that is a disk mode. Let's just say that I want to copy all of my disk to another disk. And for that, I have to simply click on the source disk. That is my T7 SSD. I have to simply click on next. And now here is my target disk. So I want to copy all of this disk data onto the new SSD. So I have to simply select the disk that I want to copy it on. For this one, I'm going to be selecting disk zero and then clicking on next. You guys can see that it will create a an allocated space on my disk right over here what you have to do is simply click on proceed and then click on continue this will start copying your disk right away i am not going to be doing that right now but this is a very simple process all of it is just one click and it is super convenient it takes a while, you have to restart your PC after that, and you guys can see that disk 5 will be copied to disk 0. You also have an option to copy as the source, or you guys can copy the disk layout. So you guys can set the partition however you want. Now, let's say that you have an operating system on your SSD. For my scenario, I do not have it. But if you guys have the operating system on your disk, you have to select your source that will be automatically detected. So that is Windows 11 that I have currently installed on my PC. I can simply transfer it to any disk on my PC. So I have my uh, Windows 11 on the disk 3 right now, but I can transfer it to any of my disk right away. I have to just select the target disk. So let's just say I want to copy my Windows to my disk 5. That is my SSD over here. So I'll simply click on next. And and then for auto fit, I can copy it as my source. I'll just set auto fit to the disk and then simply click on proceed. As soon as I click on continue, this will start copying all of the files to the disk. All of it in just one click. That makes everything so simple. Over here, you also have an option if you want to copy any of your partition as it is onto your disk 5. Or you guys can simply create a bootable disk. That means that you can use your SSD as a Windows installer as well. You can simply click on add driver, load in your ISO file, and that should be it. So guys, I have been personally using Ezas disk copy for myself. And not only on this SSD, I have also used it previously while I transferred my operating system when I upgraded my SSD from 500 GB to 1 TB. And it was super beneficial because all of the process got hassle and corruption free. That means that by using this software, you're not only protecting your data, but you're saving yourself from all of the hassles that can go wrong while you upgrade your SSD. I highly recommend you guys to go check out Ease's disk copy from the link in the description below and, and explore the software as per as you need. That was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave like and smash the subscribe button. We have also rolled out 
without channel membership so if you guys are not a channel member yet consider getting it to show some love and support we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and i'll see you all in the next one peace out